record this. I'm going to record now. I had to step away from YouTube. I had to step away from my blog. I had to step away from my website because it was just becoming too overwhelming and I wasn't, I hadn't perfected Facebook yet, if that makes sense. Um, I do want to congratulate Deanna. I got an email just now that you get a call with the CEO of the company because you um, hit Success Club in your first month. So you are a team builder. You're on the leadership board and you hit Success Club this month. So in your next month, I said that if you hit Success Club next month, you get a free ticket to Summit, which is in Nashville. I have my ticket. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go, but I suggest you all. I mean, it's really an awesome experience. Um, my baby's due May 29th, so May or June I'll be having it. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it um, unless I can talk Alex into everybody coming, which would be ideal. So I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I, I, I think you all should go. Lindy earned her ticket. Um, so I don't know if she is going to go, but maybe y'all can get together and some of y'all can go. Okay. So back to this Facebook jump. So most of y'all are, are doing Facebook, right? Um, that's your, what I call your personal page is your, what's called your warm market. It's basically all the people, um, that, you know, your friends, your family, um, anybody, you know, um, that's on your personal page. Um, but before we get into like posting and how to talk to people and all that, I'm going to screen share and I'm going to go over a cover photo. I'm going to go over a profile picture. They have some new features that I'm still not sure about. I'm going to go over all that, that stuff. Let's see. Here we go. Screen share. Okay. Can y'all see my um, Facebook? Okay. So I'm going to go to mine. This is my profile picture. Okay, it's me. Unfortunately, Ella's not in it. Um, it's just me. I took this in my hallway. I, took, put, I turned the lights on, and there's a big window across from it. That's how I got the lighting, and I put a filter on it. But it's me, and it kind of looks professional, not really. <laughs> um, but if we go back to when I first started, oh, Alex is in that one. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is okay, you and your kids, this is okay. But you want it to be you, you know. Oh, hello. <laughs> I was very proud of myself for doing that jump that I hadn't done in like a hundred years. So you just want it to be you, a clear picture of you, your face, so people can see you and see what you look like. Um, this right here is really important, your cover photo. Some people put pictures, I decided not to because it was just distracting me. So it has my name, it has what I am, um, I'm a wife, a mama, I'm a fitness coach and instructor, you know, passion, fitness, dream building, inspiration. I'm going to move this. Oops. Click here for more info. When you click on it, good God, I hate Facebook. I hate computers, actually. You're driving me nuts. Okay. So it's supposed to be when you, oh, here it is on the side. Sorry. I can't see because you're all in my way. Okay. When you go to my um, Facebook cover, you'll see right here it has all kind of information. It, I kind of introduce myself and what I do. Um, you know, and it tells people that I can help them on their fitness journey. I can help them on um, their journey to financial freedom. Whatever, you know, I have to offer is under my photo, uh, cover photo. And I have my applications right here to join the team um, or to join the, my next fitness group. So if we go back, here's my old one. This one's, I kind of like this one. Um, but I just want y'all to see where I came from and where I am today. I mean, I didn't just hop here and be like, hey, 
perfected pick monkey. So these are all my old ones. See, this was like my first one. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with this. But I worked on pick, pick monkey a lot and got what you see today. This is another one. It still says in your Facebook covers, cover photos, you want it to say who you are, what you are, what represents you. Um, so mommy, my family, this was my team. It is my team, but now I have you guys. So um, fitness, same thing here. I've come a long way, as you can see. Oh, and those are just before Beach Body. Okay, so everybody got that? Anybody have any questions about cover photos? I make all mine on PicMonkey. It takes a little while to get used to, um, but don't get frustrated. Okay. Now, here is, this is, they just added this. Um, so I do need to fill that out. But mine, some people say not to put Beachbody in your... Um, about me section, but mine has Emerald Beach Body Coach, uh, Certified Pio Instructor, Funky Fit Mama is my like page, and then just has, you know, where I live. I just got this people to follow me, which is creepy, but whatever. Um, and then add feature photos. I didn't do that yet either. Like I said, these are new features, but you do want to make sure everything's kind of filled out as much as you um, are comfortable with. Okay, I'm gonna try to go back to last year. Um, let's see how I do that. Let's just go to photos. If my computer doesn't freak out. All me. It's all me. Me, 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 me. Everything is me. Um, let's see. Gosh, all me. <laughs> Trying to go back to. Look at Ella. If y'all have any questions, like, while we're doing this, you could, uh, Look, Macy. Oh. Um, type it in the thingy. Okay, so this is kind of where um, I just started out. As you can see. Can y'all just see from the pictures how much it's changed to like... Okay, God dog it, this stupid thing. Oh, look, it's when I made emerald. So let's see, let's see what this is. Okay, so this is kind of like a call to action post. Throwback Thursday, this is me five short months ago, yada, yada, yada. Things like that has not changed. This is a good example of a post. I'm trying to find a bad example, but this is a good um, example. Let me find a bad one. Basically, what I'm trying to get at is that you want to be posting value for people, if that makes sense. So. You never want to, if you're scrolling Facebook, you want to, you want to think about it this way. If you are scro scro scrolling, scrolling Facebook, what would make you want to stop and read a post? For me, a lot of the times, it's the pictures. So I always try to make sure that my pictures are... Um, appealing I guess and some of them aren't but um mom was working ah. hold on I hear somebody oh 
Um, you always want to make sure you're adding value to somebody's, somebody's life, somebody's day. You never want to just be like, um, hey, I did my workout. You know, if you go to my workout pictures, I always have something. Uh, let me do this. Just to, to add to the, like whether it's motivation or um, oh man, so distracting. Okay, whether it's motivation or um, a recipe or if y'all saw my Shakeology post today. Um, so this is my workout post I posted today. I asked a question. Okay, this is important too. I ask a lot of questions because I want people to answer them. Here we go. I want people to answer them so I can get engagement. Because what happens on Facebook, if, if people are not if you do not like, if you're friends with a person or following a person and you do not like anything they post, if you do not like anything they post or comment on anything they post, Facebook will not show that person to you in your news feed. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. Um, so a lot of the times I try to ask questions, like about my nosebleed today. That had nothing to do with Beachbody. Um, and I really knew why my nose was bleeding, but I still asked on Facebook because I knew a lot of people were going to comment on it. So now all the people that commented on my, on my picture, well, it wasn't a picture, on my post, all the people that liked it, they're going to start seeing more of my post. Does that make sense? So I asked a question here so that people could answer it. Let's see. Y'all have to bear with me because my computer is just entirely too slow. Like, why won't it load? <sighs> so annoying. And then people start to do like this. They'll tag you and stuff, which is good too. That's Deanna's people. Okay, Facebook, come on. Here's just another, this is my snack in my Shakeology. I try to be myself in my post as if I were talking to my friends. So if you guys know me person, on a personal level, you know that sometimes I'm very sarcastic when I talk. Like I'll say stuff like this, like, nope, nope, there is, like I'm very sarcastic. So I try to uh, post the way I speak if that makes sense. So people get who, who I am. This is a long post about Shakeology. Um, and this is the kind of stuff, when I say a Shakeology post, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Um, and right here, I'm kind of um, talking about that objection, the price that I get. You know, I, I, I thought it was too expensive too, I did. Um, I canceled my Shakeology right away, um, you know, but then I, I see the benefits of it and somebody sends me this awesome message this morning and then it's me with a picture of Shakeology. It's me. Okay, so people know that I drink Shakeology. My food, I post this every day. Um, you, and I'm going to read some of my notes that I took from my Diamond uh, group about social media in a few minutes. But I post this almost every single day, if you haven't noticed, um, my lunchtime accountability. And I do stuff like this, referring back. I don't necessarily say 21-day fix, but following my containers, here we go. So I'm not throwing... Pro, uh, program names out there. Here's my question about my nosebleed, okay? 
I've never had a nosebleed before. I had a nosebleed today. I know it's because I'm probably pregnant, but I still posted it. I thought it would be a good um, engagement post, and it was. I mean, I got, I got lots of comments. And when people comment on your post, you want to comment back because you show up in the news feed again. That's what it's all about. That's why I stress posting three to five times a day because you want to show up in people's nosebleeds. You want to show up in people's news feeds. And when you post at different times a day, at different times of the day, you show up in different people's news feeds if that makes sense. Every morning, I post something like this, motivation. Here's my thing. It's either from my personal development books that you should be reading, or I go and I find a quote like this, and I, and I just elaborate on it, okay? And also, I'm addressing issues with maybe some of the coaches or some of my challengers. Um, just very... Um, I forgot the word, but not like, hey, it's you, but if it could be you, then if the shoe fits, and I got some comments on that. Videos, let me tell you something about videos. Videos are the best thing to post, whether it is a workout video. The other day I posted a meal prep video on my like page. Usually when you scroll in your news feed, and there we go. It starts playing automatically. Therefore, that counts as engagement. That counts as a view whenever it starts playing automatically like this. So videos are great because Facebook will take it as this person just watched this video, even though I didn't. Okay, this person just watched this video and now you'll show up in their news feed. Um, Here's what I'm talking about, about not just saying, hey, I got my workout in. I kind of added something here to where I'm saying that there's no excuse to not work out. You can do squats, you can do, you can run, blah, 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 all this. It's kind of like a invitation to my next challenge group. So I'm gonna, I'm kind of going fast because I want to get to my like page, lunch, my accountability again. Somebody post it. My morning post. I ate pizza the other day. <laughs> Lots of people like my baby bump pictures. I got like 50 likes on here. So really, what it's all about is coming up with posts that give value to people so that you can get likes, so that you can get comments. I can't find y'all. Oh. Um, how do I? Uh, no. What? Oh. There we go. So that you can get likes and comments, and it's called uh, affinity on Facebook. Now, the thing about the like pages, um, I can't get y'all to come back up like big. Ugh, whatever. The thing about the like pages is that it's really hard to do that on because if people are not really engaged in your posts and in, in your videos, then like you won't show up at all. At all. So that's not what I wanted to talk about. Hold on, let me read it. The um, lead, one of the leaders of our, uh, it's called New Rank New Year, our diamond group, she is, she's been a Beachbody coach for six years now, and she's in what's called the Millionaire's Club, which means she's earning a million dollars a year through Beachbody. Her name's Amanda Dewey, if anybody wants to go and follow her, and she basically said the same thing I said before. She has not been successful with Instagram. She has not been success, successful with YouTube. She's tried all those things, but she's really been successful with her personal Facebook page. She has a like page, and she has like 11,000 followers on there, 
but that's really, that's really small. If you think about Anita has like 30,000, Amanda has 11,000 and I have 1200. So those are really small numbers and you don't reach a lot of people with those kind of numbers. Um, so basically what she told us and what I wanted to share with y'all is that you need to be successful as successful as you can be with your personal page first before you move on to a like page. I, when I first signed up, Anita told me not to, but I did it anyways. I made a like page because I was afraid to post on my personal page. I kind of used my like page, um, to kind of hide what I was doing, I guess you could say. And that really didn't work out for me. I've grown my like page to what it is today. Um, but it's still very hard to get, um, challengers and coaches from because it's still so small. So, the things, I get out of breath being pregnant. Um, the things that you need to focus on on your personal page, and I say this all the time, and oh no, 10 more minutes. Um, I have 10 minutes, so I'm going to go through this really fast and then I'm going to jump to my like page. I, go th I say this all the time, it's consistency. And this is coming straight from Amanda Dewey, the Millionaire's Club girl consistency, timing. She never and I never completely go away from Facebook. Whether Ella's sick or I'm sick or somebody in my family, I'm always, I always find the time and I'll always post and I'm always showing up on Facebook, no matter what is going on. Um, you have to have a presence on Facebook. And people need to know that this is what you are a health and fitness coach this is what you're doing um every day be posting throughout the week um and and not so consistent that so that people know what you're going to post like probably everybody knows i'm going to post lunchtime accountability but they don't know what i'm going to post in the morning they don't know what i'm going to post in the afternoon and they don't know what i'm going to post at night um but it's, it's mostly kind of the same things if you think about it, I always post about my workout, but you never know what it's going to be. I always post low motivation in the morning, but you never know what it's going to be. Um, you also want to find out what your message is. So for example, my message is and has always been that I'm doing this to be a good role model for my daughter. I learned a bunch of stuff in college, and I think some of you know this, that just freaks me out about the food. Um, in the food industry and so I'm doing this to show her how to be healthy um, to show her what healthy is and not skinny like this Victoria's Secret model fashion show that's about to come on um, and so you need to have a clear-cut message and that's what you need to try to get across to people every single day that so mine is that I, I still find the time to work out. I'm pregnant. I have a toddler. I'm a stay-at-home mom. And we practice balance, meaning that we eat healthy, but we also eat ice cream. You know, so that's branding um, is the same thing. It's kind of like your target market. So you need to figure out who you want to speak to. So for me, I talk a lot to stay-at-home moms and moms in general. Um you don't, this is very important, you don't want to be marketing multiple products. Um, you want to be clear on what your brand is, clear on what you're doing. So everyone knows that I am a beach body coach, I drink Shakeology, and I do the beach body workouts, nothing else. Um, you have to not be afraid to lose friends. People are going to unfriend you. They're going to block you. They're going to, you know, you have to have faith that you're going to add new friends, which you should be adding new friends every single day. And so those people really don't matter. Um, so those are the main things. The main thing is consistency. I stress that a lot because it's so true. I don't want to say this, but it's almost it almost should be the number one vital behavior, posting on social media. Like, there's no other way. Some coaches 
are successful outside of social media, meaning they probably do booths and they probably do parties and they probably do fit clubs. Um, but the good thing about it is we don't have to do that. We have this amazing um, marketing tool, which is Facebook. Um, I'm going to hop over to my like page really quick. It might cut us off and I apologize. But I just want to show you all how difficult it is. So my like page is Funky Fit Mama. Funky Fit Mama. And it's the same thing. My profile picture is the same. My cover picture is the same. I have 1,235 likes. And some of you might think that is a lot. But I'm just going to show you that this post, my little video, only has eight views. Okay? And it's only reached 31 people. You do not reach a lot of people on your like page. 29 people. And that's only because Marissa liked it. So other people saw it. This one reached a lot of people because I have two likes and someone commented on it. So it's all about everything on a like page is all about engagement. It will not just pop up in somebody's um, news feed unless they like it and engage in it a lot in that like page. 17, okay? So this is really just to get a, a view of how hard it is. If you want to start one of these pages, you can talk to me and I'll walk you through it. But it's the same thing when you go to click here for more info, I have the same thing. So if anybody wants to find me. Another thing about like pages is that to get these likes, I had to spend money. I had to, um, are y'all still there or am I talking to myself? I had to spend money on ads and in promoting my page so it does cost money um, to have a like page okay that's basically all I have for you all I can say is that make your Facebook profile you make your cover photo that's where you can put um, you know your family and your kids and what you do and all that why can't I get this to go bigger, stupid? <sighs> um, and be clear. To figure out what your message is. Figure out what your brand is. Who do you want to talk to? Why do you want to talk to them? Um, and when you're posting, think about the perfect... If, if you're posting about the Beachbody coaching opportunity, think about the perfect coach that you would want to read and what, what would you say to them to make them want to join. Or if you're posting about a challenge group, same thing, perfect challenger, what would you say to them to make them want to join? Okay, does anybody have any questions? Does that make any sense or did I just like oh, ramble, ramble, ramble? If y'all, there, Anita does have a good um, Facebook and like page video on her YouTube. If you type in Anita uh, Myron, she pops right up, but she's really good at uh, YouTube stuff. This is pissing me off. I'm just going to say it. I can't get it to go big. For, what? For like pages, you have to pay to get a certain amount of likes. Like after you hit 100 likes, do you have to pay to boot your page after that? No. I mean, if you just want to like, I think it's like 250 likes, and then you can boost. You can start boosting posts. You get to choose how much you spend. Like right now I have an ad going on. And I spend like a dollar a day and it's going to the end of the month. So I'm going to spend like $24. You can choose all that. Um, and you choose like who you can target, um, age groups. Like you really need to, if you're going to do that, you have to narrow it down to like, right. like basically mine is uh, 25 to 45 year old women um, in the United States or Canada. 
who speak English. <laughs> um, and then my target right now is stay-at-home moms and Weight Watchers. That's it. And there's a little thing on the side. It'll tell you, like, if your audience is too broad or if it's, like, perfect. You don't want to... You don't, you don't want to have too many targets. Right. Then it'll start going all over. You'll get all these random people. So it just depends. I know Anita spends a butt ton. It's going to cut me off in a minute. Anita spends like a crap load of money on her ads, but yeah. it's just too much. And you can also do it to promote your page if you just want to get more likes. I did that like for the first two months. Also, did giveaways. That's like a free way to get likes. I did a Shakeology giveaway, and that's really that's how I got to one thousand likes with that. So, um, but I would truly I would suggest to get your personal page down before jumping into a like page or Instagram or anything like that. Videos. Um, lots of selfies just and lots of value and what i mean by 